Hello, welcome to another devlog, uh, this time about something completely different. Um, my last devlog was about the game that I recently made, called A Thimble Full of Panic. And um, one of the things which delayed me in the completion of that game was that I got distracted by uh, another idea that I had, which I'm going to show to you now. Th so this is... Um, this is a tool, an open source tool called uh, Ink. Well, I think the tool is called Inkle, but it's running a programming language. No, wait. This is all rather confusing. There's a company called Inkle, which makes games. And uh, they've made... Uh, I've only played one of the games, which is called 80 Days, which is a fantastic game. Really, really good uh, interactive narrative game where you play as Pass Part 2 in a sort of a a riff off of Jules Verne's uh, Around the World in 80 Days and you're in charge of getting Phileas Fogg around the world uh, in the time limit but it's it's uh, all told through text and it's really really well written um, I, I don't want to go into it too much but anyway uh, Inkle had uh, have an had have an internal tool which they used to make these interactive games uh, which they've open sourced. The programming language is called Ink. The program is called Inky. The company is called Inkle. I think that's right. Uh, anyway, so I had a little idea um, for a sort of a, an excuse generator and, and this is it. Um, it's not finished yet. Uh, I've written like a, a lot of it. I've written pretty much all of the code and like, let's say, 70% of the content to go into that code. And what I haven't started working on at all is like the, the interface and the visuals of it. So this is just running in the, the, the basic ink um, bit of software. Oh, I don't remember. Inky software. No? This is their own editor. Um, and it's not how the how my thing will look eventually. Um, but this is how it goes. It's text-based, and you get uh, a bunch of options. Uh, at the moment, we have just this text. It's Friday night. Um, I can click on it, and the story will continue. We're presented with text and then with options, and then the options will feed into the text. I haven't applied any formatting or anything to this yet. So at the moment, it's maybe a little incoherent because it's not clear which bits of text follow sentences on or start new sentences or that kind of thing. But that'll come later. Uh, so it's Friday night. You're relaxing. And I have three choices of what I'm doing. Pontificating, doing nothing, surfing the blogosphere. Let's surf the blogosphere. Your messaging app notifies you of a message. Read the message. It's your good friend Pertwee. He says, "We're going out. We're going out to the pub. Do you want to come too?" Um, and then we get a set of really quite generic excuse beginnings. I'd love to, but that would be great. But I can't. They all serve essentially the same function. But let's let's choose I'd love to but and three more options I'd love to but uh, an accident well not wanting to point any fingers there's this smell let's try there's this smell the thing is yesterday um we had this jolly little trip to the abattoir and ever since I've been scrubbing myself red raw to no avail I'm way too rancid to come out no worries says Pertry Pertwee See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. The rest of the night and the following day pass without incident. It's Saturday night. You're sat. So again, last time we were relaxing, surfing the blogosphere, and now we're sat on your beds, doing nothing, surfing GeoRSS feeds. Let's sit on our bed. Your phone vibrates. Pick it up. It's your good friend Treacle. She says, we're off down the club. Want to join us? Um, so, I think you can see the, the pattern here, no? Uh, every day, 
you're busy uh, doing nothing at home, one of your friends invites you out to do something different, to go to the pub, to go to the club, and you come up with an excuse. Um, what did we say last time? I'd love to, but... Uh, I could, but... Uh, I'm in the middle of building something. I'm up to my eyeballs in. I'm a tad busy. I'm in the middle of building something. I'm in the middle of building a cathedral out of spoons. So what's going on in the background of all of this is that most, almost everything here is assembled out of a whole bunch of different parts. So I'm building something is an option which will occur uh, not every time you play, but very often. And if you choose it, uh, what you're building and what you're building out of will change. So right now it's a cathedral out of spoons. It could be other things. And um, the way that I've tried to write it is such that you'll get these familiar looking choices which come out, which will then be different and surprising. Uh, similarly, the, the last year one, we had a jolly little trip to the abattoir, been scrubbing myself. This will change, like you don't always go to the abattoir or the smell that uh, you're embarrassed about comes from a different source. See you tomorrow. The rest of the night and the following day pass without incident. It's Sunday night. You're curled up, uh, knitting a lovely throw. The doorbell chimes. Go get the door. It's your good friend Bella. He says, the circus just got into town. Are you coming? Um, uh, what did we choose before? I could but. So let's go for I could but before. I could but. Uh, sorry, I could but again. So I don't know if you remember, but last time we had three options. Uh, the first was I'm building something, which is what we picked. The second was I'm up to my eyeballs in. And the third was I'm a tad busy. So as you pick choices, they get eliminated. They won't come back unless you pass, uh, unless you play again. Um, but the ones that you didn't pick remain. So you can go back and pick again. Um, and new ones get added. So let's go for it. I'm cooking. I'm working on a roti sans pareil. Uh, and the warbler's stuck halfway into the bunting. That's maybe a little obscure. Uh, no worries, says Bella. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Again, this could have a whole bunch of options. Uh, different things that you're cooking, different problems uh, that you could have. Some are more random than others. Some uh, have a lot of variability and some have less. It's Monday night. You're lounging around, knitting a lovely pair of mittens. Okay, so last time we were knitting a throw, now we're knitting some mittens. Your messaging app sings out to read the message. It's your good friend, Yala. She says, a performing jo gerbil show just arrived in town. So this is the same as the last one, right? Uh, last time it was the circus just got into town, and now it's a performing gerbil show just arrived in town. Are you coming? Will you come? Um... Uh, would but uh, the hamster I've got the hamster in the freezer waiting to have the gum combed out of its fur no worries says Yala see you tomorrow anyway I think you get the idea it's not infinite there there are end game states that you can get into and there there are different ways to play it um, it appears to be this infinitely repeating thing, and I think, you know, it could be almost infinite, but it's not. There, You get to the end. I won't talk anything about that now. And so, like I said, I've, uh, I've pretty much done all the code on the back end of this thing, and I've written, I guess, about 70% of the content. There's still a bunch more um, excuses to, to go into it, and a bunch more variability with everything. So, right now, for example, the knitting thing cropped up twice here and we knitted two different things. It was a lovely throw and a pair of mittens. Um, right now, I think there are only three options in there, maybe four. So all of that kind of stuff, I'll try and extend to, to put more variability in there, more more things you can do, um, more excuses you can make. And, um, and then I have to like find out, work out how to present this whole thing, because I don't know yet what this is going to look like, how you're, how you're going to play. Certainly it'll be text-based, and uh, text will 
will flow into bits of text will flow into each other but exactly how that's going to look with things I don't know yet so anyway that's uh, what I'm doing at the moment thank you for watching toodaloo